Hello YouTube land, welcome back to the channel. Guess what? It is springtime, so it's time to get rolling again. So I'm getting ready for my first ride of the season. And to do that, there's one important thing I have to do before anything else, which is to check the tire pressure. Usually throughout the winter, the bike doesn't move and it's pretty normal to lose tire pressure. That happens every year. Uh, I used to have an electric pump, it was noisy as hell. If you see my video about my flat tire, you're gonna realize that it was so bad, so loud and so slow that I threw away. Uh, interesting enough, uh, Airmoto just sent me this uh, smart air pump and the timing couldn't be better for me. So today I'm gonna be going over the pump itself, some features, and I'm gonna be trying on the motorcycle because I know I need some air pressure on my pop-up camper, which is probably deflated too, my daughter's bicycle, and if I still have juice in the battery, I'm gonna try the car. So I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go, uh, but I'm gonna try. So it looks like this is a very good stuff, but I don't know. So without further ado, let's give her. So before we start, I just wanna say thank you to Joseph and Airmoto for sending this one to me and sponsoring this video. And I also wanna try this new uh, neck holder and see if, if this holder helps me to show you guys all my reviews. So let me know if you like this stuff and I can tell you what that is and where to buy it. So let's go. So let's open up this box. As you can see, it's pretty compact. Um, he is just showing the range of stuff you can use with, you know, from a ball, motorcycle, mountain bike, a road bike, all the way to a car. Some applications tells me that the maximum output pressure is 120 PSI, which is important to know, and the weight is 430 grams. Pretty light. So let's get into it. stuff out of the of sight first things first the instruction is uh, pretty simple I checked before so it's pretty straightforward uh, it comes in English German French and Spanish so pretty good let's put the instruction aside for the time being so here's the the smart air pump itself pretty compact, pretty light. As far as the size, just to give you guys a context, this is the, this is the case of my, my glasses. So pretty, pretty small. And let's just grab the glasses for fun. So it's pretty much the same size as my glasses. So pretty compact, pretty light. So let's check it out. First things first, uh, you'll notice that the air holes is right here in this pocket. So pretty smart. So you just need to attach the holes to it and you're ready to go. So let's leave it here for the time being. So let's turn it on and see what we got. Let's change here to, uh, here's the motorcycle, bicycle, balls. And this is a custom setting that you can also use. So let's keep in the motorcycle for the time being. Then we can adjust the pressure up and down. Right now it's set to 41.5. So let's go to um, 36, which is my front tire first. So set to 36. When we get there, we can try. Uh, if I press and hold the top here, you're going to see a flashlight, right? Which is pretty nice to have mainly if you are using at night. So having a flashlight into it is a pretty good idea. So let's turn off. Let's not waste battery for the time being. So, so that's basically it. You can put the pressure up and down, change the modes, and you're ready to go. Uh, thanks, Airmoto, for sending this fully charged. There's nothing worse than getting 
uh, something that requires a charge on the first time you have to use. It's like a, like a kid getting a Christmas present and you have no batteries in the house. It's just frustrating. So thanks, it's fully charged, so it's ready to go. What else is in the package? Oh, it came with a waterproof bag, which is nice to have. And let's see what else. The USB-C cable, which is pretty good to have. And this USB-C actually charges pretty fast, so pretty good. What else? We got this little uh, adapter, which is meant for uh, water toys. This one, we all know what that is, just to inflate any kind of ball, or most of them anyways. This is an adapter for, a, um, for what we call the Presta valve system. I'll put a picture here on the top, but it's very likely I don't have to use this one because my daughter's bicycle uses the same Schrader valve. So the same valve that comes in the tire inflator is going to work for me. But nice touch to add those uh, accessories to the package. So let's go to the motorcycle now and see if the pump actually works. I'm going to start with the motorcycle. Then I'm going to come to this pop-up camper, my Leisure Light 2021. And, and if I still have juice by then, I'm going to go to my daughter's bicycle. And if I still have battery left, I'm going to try my wife's SUV. So not sure how far I can go. I know it's fully charged. I just don't have any idea how often I can use. The front tire is at 30 PSI, so let's get going. Press once. So when it reaches the right pressure, the pump shuts off by itself. And uh, yeah, it took less than two minutes to do it. Pretty darn good. Let's go to the back tire now. 38.5, so not too far off. Just need to press once and wait. And there you have it. So it's done. It shut off again by itself. Just a hair over two minutes. Pretty good. Pretty impressive. Now let's go to the camper. Uh, according to the specs of the trailer, Tells me that I need to be at 50 PSI. First things first, I'm going to change to car, which might be more uh, applicable to uh, what I'm going to be doing. So um, the car setting uh, is already set to 50 PSI. So let's go. As usual, I'll check how long it's going to take to inflate the tire. Okay, excellent. You can see how helpful this little pump can be if you are traveling, if you are camping, and you have no access to a gas station. So this is pretty darn good. Right now, I'm in the orange area, which means anywhere from 60 uh, to 30%. Oh, went back to green, even better. Let's go to the other side. Okay, two and a half minutes for this one. And now let's go for the bicycle. That will be a, a big challenge because they're gonna be going over probably 90 PSI on each tire. So let's see how the pump does. Now we're gonna go to the bicycle. This one might be a little bit more demanding, mainly because the battery now is probably about 50% or so because the orange light came up. Sometimes with speed bikes, you can even go all the way up to 110, 120 PSI. But for this one, my daughter is lighter, so the bike is smaller. So I'm going to go for 90 PSI. I have no idea how inflated or flat this tire is. Hey, I just noticed that the green light came back on. So that's a good sign. So let's go. Wow, 2 PSI. Long way to go. So it's going to be a good trial for the pump. So let's press once. So this one took about four and a half minutes, which is not bad considering the tire 
was basically completely flat. This one has two pounds. Something I forgot to mention, there are different units of measure you can choose. I'm using PSI, but you can change to uh, bars, kilopascals. So let's go back to PSI. I got two PSIs here. So let's press once and go. And there you have it. So the motorcycle is done, the pop-up camper is done, the bicycle is done, and I still have battery left. So I'm gonna go to the car now. I'm surprised. I wanna see if I can kill this battery. So far the battery is doing pretty darn good. So I'm gonna turn it off, I'm gonna get a jacket, and I'm gonna go outside. So I already did the motorcycle, the pop-up camper, the bicycle, Let's go to the car now. It's 34 and a bit, so it shouldn't take too much to reach 35. One done. The only stuff I noticed is uh, is a little bit hard to see the display outside in the, sh in the sun, so I have to kind of go a little bit down here. Other than that, it's pretty good. I can, I can work around that, not a big deal. Not even a minute, so very good. So far the battery is still good. Let's go to the other side now. So let's finish the left hand side and we're done. This one took a little bit longer than the other two tires. Uh, I can sense that the battery is depleting. Uh, it is in the orange area, so it's not red yet, but I can see that uh, the pump is working a little bit harder than before. I just want to finish this last one, because if I finish this one, it's going to be pretty awesome. And there you have it. Wow, Jesus. I'm impressed. And that's how she wrote, guys. I hope you liked it. I think it's very good. It passed my test. Uh, I'm gonna be always carrying on my motorcycle. Even when I'm riding just in the city here, I'm gonna just put in my saddlebag. Uh, if I'm camping, it's gonna be another feature because nothing worse than having my pop-up camper with a flat tire and I still can repair it, but I still need to inflate it. So this is gonna be perfect for me, for my camping season. Uh, as always, I'm going to be listing uh, the product code down below. You're going to get a nice discount. I believe it's a no-brainer. I truly recommend it. If it wasn't good, I wouldn't tell you so. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please give me the thumbs up because it really helps my channel. And don't forget to subscribe right here. So until the next time, be good, be safe, and let's keep the rubber side down. Ciao.